Today, I'm going to be testing some of the most viral TikTok science hacks to see if they work or don't work. I have a lot of exciting science hacks we have to test out. So if you're excited, drop a like, subscribe and comment down below. And without any further ado, let's get started. We're starting off the video with the first is science hack. So all you need is a balloon and an orange. Apparently, if you blow up a balloon and you take some of the peel orange and you squeeze it on top of the balloon, it pops the balloon. So we're gonna put it to the test and we're gonna see if it does work. So first things first, let's blow up the balloon. You wanna make sure you blow up the balloon as much as you can. Okay. Dude, that is so big. I got a little lightheaded, but I think that's good enough. Now let's tie it. We tied up the balloon. Make sure it doesn't move. Wait, can you hold it for me? So I'm I got sure you. Move. Now let's peel the orange. You want to make sure you take a decent size of the peel. There we go. Then you're just going to squeeze it on top of the balloon. Do you think it's going to work? I hope it does. <laughs> oh my that god! <laughs> oh my god, that was so loud. It wasn't working and then I just did this. It's because the orange peel has like a little juice. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Can you see that? But when you squeeze it, some little juice comes out. Yeah, it's like the cess. Like the, yeah. yeah, that's what it is. It took a minute. I guess it was like slowly getting to the balloon and then it popped. That scared me, guys. But as you guys saw, it does work. So apparently you can make invisible ink by just using lemon juice. So if you take some lemon juice, you write something in a piece of paper and you just leave it like this, you won't be able to see it. But if you take a lighter and you put some fire underneath, in about five to 10 seconds, you'll be able to see the message that you wrote in the paper. So let's see if it does work. We're gonna take the lemon juice, we're gonna cut it in half. We're gonna take a Q-tip, dip it in the lemon, make sure you get a lot of lemon juice. Then you're just gonna write in a piece of paper, whatever you want. Okay, I'm gonna press subscribe. So eventually it's gonna air dry. So as you can see, it's already starting to disappear, starting to dry. So we're going to let it air dry for about five minutes. Then we're gonna come back, we're gonna take the lighter and we're gonna see if it is gonna work. Five minutes later. So it's been five minutes and everything looks completely dry. If you look at the paper, you can't see anything, but obviously I wrote subscribe here. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to take the paper. So here's where we're with the lemon juice. You wanna do it from the bottom. We're gonna take the lighter and then we're just going to do this. Do you think it's to gonna work? Paper. Hopefully. Want to get it close to the paper, but not too oh, close. Oh, I see. <gasps> okay. Oh, do you smell that? That smells horrible, but it's working. You can see all of this here. Now we're going to focus on like the end of the paper. There's our letter E. <gasps> oh, no, no, no. No. How? I almost you got it too close. It. I was trying to get the letter E to be visible. Oh my God. But you can see, I mean, it does work. Subscribe and then after the B and E. Okay, we had a little problem there. Maybe not try this at home. Yeah, do not try this at home, guys. Please don't. But I'm gonna say that this science hack it definitely works. Did you know that if you take a cup of water and you add some sugar and baking soda, you blow on it using a straw, it creates smoke? I didn't know that either until I came across the TikTok video. So we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna take some water. We're going to put, I wanna say, water up until there. They didn't give exact measurements, so we're just going to eyeball everything. Then we're gonna take a little bit of sugar. Again, we're just going to eyeball it. So I think about that much should be good. If we need more, then of course we'll add more. Then we're gonna take some of the baking Baking soda. We're gonna go heavy on the baking soda, so about that much. Then we're going to stir it. That looks good. Now we're just going to blow on it and hopefully it works. <laughs> I don't see any reaction, to be honest. Maybe we need more baking soda? Let's add more baking soda. Dude, okay. that is a lot. <laughs> That's enough. And then let's balance it out with some sugar. Maybe I don't have to like mix it. I just have to like blow on it right away. Yeah, no, that didn't work. I think the person on the TikTok added dry ice. That's the only explanation. I think so. I'm trying so hard to blow on it, but also I'm trying to be very careful because if I drink this, something tells me it's not going to be good. But let's try it one more time, guys. Yeah, no, they definitely put dry ice because I've tried everything and as you guys saw, this did not work. 
So I think we can all agree that if you take a, oh snap, if you take a sharp item, obviously it can pop a balloon very easily. But apparently if you take a piece of electrical tape and you put it on your balloon and you try to pop it, your balloon doesn't pop. So let's see if it does work. I have some electrical tape here. I'm gonna take a decent size of the tape and put it on top of the balloon. Low key, when you pop the balloon right now, that, that thing scared me. I just didn't say anything. Because I, I didn't tell you I was gonna pop it. I, I wasn't expecting it. that. I thought you were gonna say that and then pop it but you just went straight in yeah i mean you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> you should have cut it first before taping it i know that tastes disgusting oh my god we're gonna take the same thing that we used to pop the other one and we're just going to pop it do it if this pops i'm gonna be so mad it's not working <laughs> it, didn't go pop, go, go, go. it didn't pop like the other one there you go you see? <gasps> It does work. <laughs> what the heck? So as you guys saw, it went through, but it didn't pop like the orange one. Obviously, it's going to lose the air because of this. But even if you stretch it out, see, it doesn't pop the actual balloon, but it does lose all of the air. <laughs> nice. You always learn something I, new. I don't know when you will really use this in real life, but it is a science experiment. I feel like honestly, it's like one of those things that you've seen. You're like, I kind of want to try it. Like it has no purpose. Like you're not going to use this like on your everyday life, but it's just kind of cool to like test out the hacks to see if they work but as you guys saw this one does work so apparently if you take some boiling water you put it in a cup and you take a wood pencil you put it inside it creates a reaction and it creates a reaction because it takes the h2o with the carbon monoxide and it mixes together and then it creates a reaction and then you get air and then it gets condensation and that's how you end up with that solution got it okay let's what? pour the water uh, you don't know? That's basic science. How do you not know this? Did you just make program. that up? No, it's actually true. Guys, let Jason know in the comments down below. That's a true thing. Like, <laughs> dude, we learned this in like middle school science. How do you not okay, know Okay, okay, so what's going to happen again? Let me make it more basic for okay, you. Okay, okay, okay. Take okay. some boiling water, put it in a cup, take a wood pencil, put it in here, it bubbles up. Creates okay, a reaction. Okay, cool. That's pretty much what happens. So let's okay, see if okay, it is okay, going to okay. work. <laughs> I don't know if you're being water. sarcastic or are you trying to be I'm funny. I'm being serious. Guys, comment down below. Someone please tell Jason that it's an actual thing. Here we go. <gasps> Can you see it? Dude, I don't see anything. The bubbles. Did you not see the bubbles? Look, 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 look. Uh, They're so of... tiny. Okay, it's not the biggest reaction, but you can definitely see some bubbles in there. Do you oh, see that? I see it. I see it. Maybe if you cut the pencil a little bit more, okay. you'll be able to see it. Let's sharpen the pencil more, probably about this much, because maybe the wood is what reacts yeah, to the hot yeah. water. So let's sharpen it a bit more, and then we're going to try it again. So I sharpened the pencil more, as you guys can see. Now we're going to dip it in the water, so pay close attention. One, two, three. Okay, a little bit. Oh, it's not like the video. It's not. The video was so dramatic. Like, there were so many bubbles. Keep in mind, this water is, like, boiling hot, guys. It's some pretty hot water. But, yeah, you can see some of the bubbles, but not as much as them. So, what would you say? Would you say it works or it doesn't work? I mean, work? it works. Maybe they use a different type of pencil, but it Maybe. works, but it doesn't work. Yeah, like, you can still I guess see it works, but we didn't get the reaction, like... That we wanted. Yeah. Like, the video. Final thoughts? It does work. So apparently, if you take a cup of water, you pour some cocoa powder on top, you dip your finger in the water, your finger does not get wet because the cocoa powder protects your finger from the water. So we're gonna see if this does work. I think it is going to work because the cocoa powder doesn't mix with the water, it just floats on top. We're gonna take about this much and just put it on top. Don't waste my cocoa powder, that's the organic <laughs> one, the expensive it, it one. It is the organic <laughs> one, you're right. We're just gonna take a little bit, guys, not too much. Dude, that was literally a full cup. I could have made some good chocolate milk with that. Dude, stop. You have so much <laughs> left. Do you guys see how it doesn't mix? Like, it's not mixing at all. It's just up there. So now I'm going to take the finger and just dip it. <gasps> Is it dry? It's dry. Do it again. Dude, that looks <gasps> so cool. But I think your Dude. nail ruins it. Oh, wait. You try to dip your finger here? And it's it kind of works. Yes, it is dry. It's dry. It's completely dry. Look. So as you guys saw, it does work. My finger did get a little bit wet, but it, that's definitely because of my nails. It like breaks through the cocoa powder. But it's a cool little science hack that you can try at home. Obviously, use a little bit because if not, you're going to waste your entire cocoa powder. But it works. So I'm not sure if this science hack is going to work, but apparently if you take a glass of water, you fill it up with water, and then you froth it, once you see that it's spinning, you drink the water. You're supposed to start spinning yourself. So let's try it out. We're gonna add the water. Now let's froth it. You see that? Now you wanna drink it. Ah. 
for this next science hack, we're going to be making some popcorn dance. I know it sounds very crazy, but here's what you need. You need some popping corn, as well as white vinegar, baking soda, and some water and a cup. So now we're going to pour the water in the cup, about that much. We're gonna take some baking soda. I wanna say that much. Pour it in here, mix it. Next, we're gonna take the popping corn and we're going to add it. Once the popping corn is all the way to the bottom, you're gonna take your white vinegar, you're going to pour it, and then it should start dancing. So let's see if it works. <gasps> Dude! What you happened? Put too much. What happened? Hey. Oh, and there we go. But it is Do you dancing. See it? Do you see the popcorn is dancing? So pretty much we got two in one. We got a reaction and the popcorn is dancing, but I wanna add a little bit more vinegar and see if we get another reaction. Okay, oh, there that you go. one is better. There we go. And it should continue to dance for the next hour or so. I think so, yeah, because it's just bubbly. It has all the baking soda at the bottom, so with the vinegar, it reacts, and it just keeps on doing that. So if you ask me, I'm going to say that this science hack is pretty successful. For this next science hack, all you're going to need is a balloon and a plastic bag. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take the balloon, rub it in our hair, then we're going to take a piece of the plastic bag, rub it in our hair, and it's going to electrify the bag, and it's supposed to float on top of the balloon. That's so cool. Hopefully, it does work. We're going to cut about this much. This also looks pretty easy, so first things first, let's rub it on top of our hair. Then we're going to do the same thing your hair. <laughs> with the bag, and now we just put it on top. And then, okay, wait. Try it again. And then slowly let it go. It keeps coming towards me. Why? Maybe you're not doing it right, the balloon part. Okay, balloon, bag, and then it wants to come towards me. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, try to rub this part. I think you're rubbing the bottom part. That's why it's not so working. This? Yeah, I give up. Look how look how my hair. Ooh, ooh, kinda. Kind well. of. Look how my hair looks, guys. I literally tried everything. I cut it to like a smaller piece because I thought it was too heavy. I did it so many different ways and it did not work. If I'm doing it wrong, let me know in the comments down below what I'm doing wrong. But as of now, this does not work. So apparently, if you take an egg, you burn it on top of fire, it's gonna turn into a black color, but then you drop it into water and it creates a silver color effect. So we're gonna put that to the test. I have my candle here, I'm going to light it up. I also have some tongs, are these tongs or tweezers? Tongs, tongs right? Yeah. Okay, and then we're just going to burn. <gasps> Dude, you literally what happened? cracked it. I just started. What? I'm the clumsiest person ever. Let's try this again. We're just going to hold it in place until we technically like burn the entire egg. Something tells me this is going to take a while. Oh, I have to get it close to the fire. Do you see that already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm over here waiting like on top like if I'm cooking it. Okay, <laughs> you know what? You have to like get it close to the fire. So I'm basically just going to do this until the entire egg is a black color. Five minutes later. So it's been about five minutes. I also changed tongs because these were easier to use. So as you guys can see, the entire egg is Except black there. now. <laughs> so now we're going to put it in the water very carefully. Maybe I should just use my hand, right, to drop it in there. Is it hot? No, not that hot. There we go. Oh, oh my god. That looks so cool. How? Whoa. Dude, look. What if I take it out? Let's see if take it changes it back. It's Dude. silver. But then once you take it out, it's like almost all of the black starts to like peel off. Do you see how it's like at the top of the water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you put it back in there. It's silver. That is so cool. See, this is like the kind of stuff that I wanted to do in science class when I was like elementary and like middle school. And instead of that, they had us like reading textbooks. This is such a cool experiment. So as you guys saw, this works. So I saved the best for last. So we're going to be making a smoke bubbles. And all you need is a humidifier. You also need a cup with water and dish soap. And this clear long tube right here that we got at where? Home Depot? Home Depot, Home Depot yeah. Depot, yeah. So let's turn on the humidifier. We're gonna put it on the high setting. We're gonna wait. Okay, right away, started working. We're gonna take one end of the plastic pipe. We're gonna hold it in place. And then is it coming out? Okay, see it's coming out from this end. Now you're gonna dip it. Ooh. Oh my God. Do I just leave it there? I don't know if you <gasps> want. 
Boom. Ooh. That is so cool. That is so satisfying to see. Here goes another one. Dude, Dude that, that is looks so, so cool. It is almost like a rainbow color because of the dish soap. It's like iridescent. Should I wiggle it? Yeah. Or just let it go? Just let it. <gasps> That, Ooh, is, that so is so cool. satisfying. Why are we like little kids right I now? Know. Like, whoa. <laughs> like, this is the type of stuff we're supposed to be learning in school. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Except they had us over there reading books, like textbooks. Like, I don't want that. I want this. I'm going to do one last one. Try to make it as big as you can. I'm just just hold it. Hold it in place. See how big it gets. 10,000 years <gasps> later. That oh. is so cool. You guys have to try this out. Like, if you have a get together with your friends or if you just want like, your friends what what are we two? Oh my god bro oh hell no oh, man what the fuck <laughs> okay like what if you're just bored with your friends you're like because you know how sometimes you have like get together you're like so what's up what's been new <laughs> you can just like pop this out the humidifier the dish of the water in this and you're like hey i have something cool to show you but or if you just want to try it out yourself honestly it's a really cool thing to try out like a really Cool little science hack but guys i'm going to end the video right here i really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you guys come across any science hacks food hacks life hacks or anything that you guys want me to try out or if you see like any cool little gadget like that's on like amazon ebay wish let me know tag me on tiktok at make Pita, or you can also send me a dm on instagram at make Pita. but thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LABB, who we running with?